much needed break. <laughs> For sure. And uh, the big one coming up on Saturday. This, what's it been like the last few days? It's been good. You know, uh, obviously we've, uh, you know, been on the road a ton and, um, you know, we played uh, quite a few, you know, by games and those things. And um, but I thought our guys have really done a great job and competed well, had chances to win at most of them. Richmond kind of got out of hand a little bit. But I think, you know, if anyone watched the game last night, Richmond went and beat Wisconsin. And Richmond's really, really good. Um, and I said that about, you know, 10 minutes into the second half. I go, well, these guys are really, really good. But um, it's been good to come back and have a couple days now of actually working on ourselves and just trying to get better and, um, and tweak a few things and, and really solidify um, our rotation, solidify some things. Um, on the floor, so it's been really good. It's been nice to actually sleep in your own bed for a couple nights in a row, too. Uh, you mentioned before that uh, you know, Richmond is going to be, this is before Richmond, Richmond is going to be like Wisconsin, how they're going to be able to adjust to what mm -hmm. y'all do. And I mean, it seemed like right off the bat, after Drew hit those two threes, they kind of took him out the game. What do you kind of expect from Texas? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're starting to, you know, break down Texas, you know, now. And, um, you know, we really tried to hone in on the first couple of days of just worrying about us. But, you know, Texas obviously is ultra talented. Um, you know, they're big and strong. They're a Big 12 team and they're top 25 in the country. So uh, they present a lot of challenges. They're really, really good. Um, I know our guys are going to be excited to play. And, um, you know, we're going to enjoy Thanksgiving here and then, um, you know, head up there Friday morning and, you um, you know, we have an early game on Saturday, but our guys are excited. I mean, they, they obviously present a lot of challenges just because of, um, you know, their talent and their size. Um, I think they've become really, really good defensively in the half court. Um, we're going to have to really, really execute. Um, I think, you know, uh, Coach Smart's done a great job, of especially really honing in and being really good defensively this year. And so we'll have to go up there and obviously play really well. You mentioned the last few days really more focusing on yourself. What have been the things that you've noticed that have needed the best work, needed the most work and also the things that you've done best? A great point. You know, we actually, as a staff, sat down, you know, Saturday and Sunday and just, you know, looked at all the numbers and the synergy numbers and statistics and all the analytics. And, um, you know, we need to become a better screening team. I thought that we had a lot of slippage in Richmond of actually really screening. Um, especially in our splits and um, you know I thought we didn't do a very good job of that. Richmond had a lot to do with that because of their physicality. Um, I thought that we had to get better defensively, um, you know, especially on ball screen coverage. I think that we, we didn't rotate the way we needed to rotate and take things away. Um, you know I thought that our, our press and mixing up our defenses has been good to us and we need to really try to hone in and get better at that. Um, and then obviously you know take care of the ball. You know just being able to to do things in practice to to limit our turnovers. I think if you look at our all of our um, analytics and numbers, I think the biggest thing, you know, for us to sure up is, is our turnovers and being able to take care of the ball. Um, so you know, we obviously have made that a huge emphasis in practice the last couple of days. Coach, you got you got six road games to open the season. Six money. <laughs> six. Six out of eight. Yeah. Do you have any input into that? In the future, I mean, are they just going to walk in whatever they may do and say, okay, you got to play this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You know, Ron, I mean, it's it's a discussion I've had with the administration, um, you know, just about, you know, the, the philosophy of scheduling in the future. Um, I think there's parts of it that's been really good for us because we played really good teams. You know, you go to the pit and, you know, you're, you know, two-point game with under a minute left. But I think the, the duration of the travel um, has been really, really hard, you know, for our guys. And, um, you know, it's hard to continue to, you know, it, to, to have a rhythm, you know, where you practice two or three days and play a game and practice two or three games. You know, we've been playing, playing, playing. So obviously I'm not surprised that we've had some slippage and it kind of really caught up to us at Richmond. But, um, you know, to answer your question, um, hopefully we'll, uh, you know, we're going to discuss those things at the end of the season. Uh, Is there a number you like or – a number of teams you'd like in three, two, four? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'd, I'd like to at some point here eventually be able to host our own tournament. Um, you know, that's something that, um, you know, that I would like to do now. Obviously, it takes some time to, to get all those things together and prepare. But, um, you know, we have the hotels to do it. We have the facility to do it. Um, I think that this community uh, would really support it. Um, I just think we have, you know, I've, I've always been an out-of-the-box thinker. Um, and I think that... Uh, you know, we have some real um, 
advantages here. I mean, it's 75 degrees, you know, this time of year, a lot of, a lot of days. There's a lot of people that would try, love to travel, I think, to come and play, um, you know, in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Uh, but, you know, to try to get home games, you know, is a big thing for us, you know, and it, it's hard. It's hard to get them because of, you know, the amount of the other games that you are required right now to play. Uh, looking, <clears throat> looking at AJ, just the stats, you know, obviously I haven't seen every game. The, the numbers say he's been, you know, okay, I think, you know, like probably not outstanding, but it just doesn't seem like he's probably gotten into maybe the full groove and maybe hit like his ceiling or even close to his ceiling yet. And obviously for you guys to be successful, especially going into conference play, it seems like he's, you know, he's going to have to kind of make that next step. Uh, I guess what have you seen that's caused him to kind of be like, I guess kind of up and down. Well, I think AJ's had some really good moments. I think AJ is, is you know, had some moments that he's played really well. And I think there's um, obviously been some a learning curve for him. Um, you know, when you sit out an entire year, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get your rhythm back. I think that's that's been part of it. Um, you know, it's not for lack of want to. I think AJ, you know, sometimes even tries too hard to and maybe overthinks at times. But uh, those are just, you know, ways and things that you got to kind of work through and um, you know but there's times in the game where um, I think he's making great decisions and, and doing a really good job and then obviously there's been some possessions where um, you know he hasn't played well but you know you can go down our roster and say that about everybody so um, you know I, I have a lot of faith in, in AJ and a lot of faith in our team and you know we'll, he and our team will continue to grow and get better as the year goes on. Coach, for you guys, I mean, shooting has been something you've talked about since day one. Mm -hmm. How pleasing is it to see you guys being that great towards the top of the nation right now? It's great, you know. Uh, it's great. I wish we would have made a few more in, in uh, Richmond, but uh, it's great. You know, we're since I've been here, you know, it's one thing that I really want to try to utilize. I've talked about it openly: is being able to shoot the three ball and have guys on the floor that can spread defenses and shoot it. Um, and as we continue to grow the program, you'll see that more and more. But um, but it's great, you know. It's uh, our guys put in a lot of time. Um, you know, you got guys that are shooting twenty and thirty thousand you know, threes in the summer and, um, and it's showing, you know, so we're obviously going to keep utilizing. I think it will help with the spacing with, with, uh, with having obviously sham on the floor. And um, so we're going to continue to utilize it a lot. You get through Saturday in December, very home friendly. For sure. Especially how, how big of it goes, especially going in the conference, that being able to stay at home. Those it, it's really big. I mean, it's, it's big to, to play at home. Um, I wish the league would have started later so that uh, we wouldn't have, you know, two games during the holidays. But nonetheless, uh, we get, you know, five straight at home, uh, which is, you know, for us is, <laughs> you know, we haven't had that. So uh, we're really, really looking forward to it. I think that, you know, not being able to, to have to get on a plane again until we probably go to Abilene is something that we're looking forward to. And I think we can start to get into a rhythm, um, you know, where you practice a couple days and prepare and play and then practice, prepare, play. And we can start to get into a rhythm. We haven't really gotten into a rhythm yet just because of the amount of travel and road games we've had to play. All right, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.